Welcome to Scratch Jr. Beat the Clock. This is a challenging program game that gets harder with each new challenge. In this game, you have to select the correct backgrounds, sprites, and scripts for the program you're about to see. You will have three minutes to complete your challenge. If you get done early, open a new page and get creative there. Please click on the home button and open a new project. You may begin now. This is about the halfway mark. I'm sure you're doing a great job. You still have about a minute and a half to go. Uh, so check over your project a little bit. Do you have the right background? Did you have to make any changes to it or change colors or draw your own background? How about your sprites or characters? Did you have to edit those, change colors, make a new character? Did you have to add sounds or new pages? And finally, your scripts. Are your programming blocks making your characters or sprites do what you see on the screen? Check those out. Make some changes if they're not. Best of luck. Doing a great job. Okay, time is up for the Challenge 8 African Savannah Race. And this one was all about using speed blocks. And so let's take a look at how this program was created. And the first thing we had to do was pick our background. So we chose the African Savannah. And if you noticed on screen, though, what I did was I wanted it to be a little bit. I know Savannah's most of the time. It's that's kind of a brown grass look to it. But I wanted to make it a little brighter. So I pretended it was after the rainy season. And I painted the background green. So the first character I'm going to go down and select is the giraffe character. And let me find it here. And so here's the giraffe. Now it's a little bit too large. So what I'm going to do is take the, in the looks category, I'm going to bring down the shrink button and click it twice and bring that down and just get rid of that and just move the giraffe around. Now it's a good idea when you're watching the videos to think about where each animal is at its start line. And so that giraffe kind of has its, uh, nose or mouth right in that little curve of the tree. The next character is the elephant. We'll shrink that down twice and bring that over there and just kind of get it to the back area on the page. And then we have the zebra. So I'm going to shrink the zebra down as well. I kind of tried to make them sort of like, you know, their, their actual sizes compared to each other. 
Uh, they're close. That zebra probably would have been a little bit smaller. So we're going to get them all started for the race. And now we're going to start working on their scripts. So the zebra is actually the fastest of our animals here. And I tried to kind of make it a little bit realistic. So I put the speed block down and made it the fastest. You notice I did the drop down and did fast. And here's where you're guessing, like how far do you want it to go? Well, on screen, you noticed I had it all go to where their noses or the ends of them were right at the edge of the screen. So that's why I'm adjusting that number there. And I did a 14. So that's right about where I want it. Scratch Jr., and then I'll put the end script here. Scratch Jr., you're able to drag the code over to the other two characters or sprites. But here's where you have to change it. Remember, we don't want all of them to go at the same speed. So our elephant is actually our slowest character. I have medium there, but I'm going to put down the slow. And then the giraffe has the medium speed. If I go up and I test this, this is what it looks like. And they go to the end. Now these are using the speed blocks of your program, okay? Um, so you have a slow, a medium, and a fast. And I know it wasn't on the challenge, but I'm gonna show you something in a little bit here. We'll, we'll do a full screen test first. I'm gonna show you how to do different speeds. And I made a video about doing this. I'm um, using like a soccer ball before, but I'm going to select the character here. We're going to pick the baby. Baby's going to race all of our animals. And I'm going to show you that you can make it go even faster. Now I had it go 14 spaces over. Well, what I'm going to do with the baby is I'm going to have it go fast and then I'm going to make it go two. So two spaces. But because I want to go 14, I'm going to go do that seven times. Two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14. I'm counting by twos. And then this is the race. Baby got there super fast. So you can increase your speeds by repeating your scripts. So there, that's another way to be able to change and do all kinds of different speeds, even more than the slow, medium, and fast speed. So keep that in mind when you're doing other programs. And so I'm just pulling these out, showing you that there are seven different scripts running at the same time. So I hope you did an awesome job. You like this program. Um, now's the time to add other characters. Try that additional speeds where you're, you're adding more than one script in there. Thank you for joining me today. I hope you had a great time doing this program. I'd really appreciate if you like, subscribe, and share below. Have a wonderful day. Until next time.